Hey guys, uh, just a quick video here. This, I, this has got a bunch of stuff I don't like in it, uh, but you know what? I, I don't know. I guess if you, you combine a bunch of stuff that you don't like and you <laughs> mix it up, it comes out, it comes out good. Uh, this is definitely a buy again for me. I'm trying to lose weight, join the gym. Uh, that's how you make your car go faster without spending money and modifying is just to lose weight. Healthy choice power bowls. Uh, you know, if I'm in a hurry, uh, instead of um, doing junk food, I can I can just pop one of these in the in the microwave for four minutes. Uh, so anyway, I want to show you one other thing here. Uh, All right. So as you know, when you get these cars, they've got air dams and stuff. If you've looked online to see what the solution is to put at the end of your driveway, keep it from scraping. They've got these things, they're like $300, it's a crazy price. I uh, I went to Lowe's and got some of these mats. These are mats that you put in the kitchen, I think. Oh, they're just rubber mats. I, uh, I bought three, so that's full size that you see, full size. And then there's a half of one that I, I took the one, then I cut it in half to raise it up a little bit. It looks like I might need one more. It does not scrape when I go in the driveway now. But they work pretty good. These things were $25 each, so three of them it cost me 75 bucks. Yeah, I know it's kind of a lot. But, you know, you can come up with your own thing. But my neighbor said to just come in at an angle. And if I come in at an angle, it does work. It, I mean, I didn't really need these. But uh, sometimes backing out, I didn't. And uh, that's where I had the issue. Anyway, um, all right. Uh, I'm going to show you one other thing, uh, kind of preview for my next video but I want to show you something that happened to me uh, a few years ago with my other challenger see you in a minute all right I want to show you this thing this ATM machine look at those yellow poles see how they stick way out I'm gonna try and reach I usually pull up, I pull my mirror in I usually pull up real close yeah. see that one right there with the battle scars <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh, I hit one with my other Challenger, and uh, I had just washed and waxed the car, and uh, and I pulled up to the ATM machine, and uh, please try again. I don't know if you guys ever do that. On my steering wheel, I keep hitting buttons. Canceled. I keep hitting buttons uh, on my with my hand. So does that happen to you? Anyway, I wanted to ask you guys uh, before I forget. First thing in the morning, if you put this thing in sport mode, that guy was kind of scary. That coming the other way. First thing in the morning, you go into sport mode. I go pulling out of my street. I can't. I don't know. I can't help but spin the tires. So that dude saw me pull into the ATM machine and I guess he thought I was going to use it. He came into the other entrance and I don't know, whatever. I wasn't using the ATM machine. I was just showing you guys, but anyway, one of those cars with the paper plates on there. It looks like, uh, well, you don't know. Anyway, first thing in the morning, um, Sometimes I'll put this thing in sport mode. I try to pull out of my development and I can't help but uh, do a burnout. I just like touch the gas. It's like, I don't know. There's a lot of cars come in and stuff. I gotta kind of squeeze in between the others. I'm used to my other, used to my other car, the Mazda. <laughs> Where you gotta hit the gas a little bit, you know, to get to go. Well, this one, both rear wheels just light up and uh, I don't know. Someday I'll end up doing that in front of a cop and it probably wouldn't be good. So sport mode, I don't know if it is on all challenges, but this one, it's um, it's really kind of touchy. And uh, especially in the morning, it seems like it's got a lot of torque. So anyway, I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get my oil change done. And uh, I think I might run it through the car wash. I don't know, it's pretty cloudy out. I don't want to wash it if it's just going to get all nasty out there again. Going to the gym again tonight, <clears throat> trying to lose some weight make my car go faster right anyway uh catch you in a little bit later before i forget one
1855 is what I'm going to use. <laughs> Okay, it'll piss somebody off that I did that, but it's the way it goes. All right, so what's my mileage? 2237. Video the car to show that there's no damage. Get her done. All right, got the car on the left. One thing I see a lot of guys talking about this, that they said it wasn't uh, attached right and it hit the tire. So I just wanted to check those. You know, looks pretty good here. Stock exhaust, I'm kind of appreciating quieter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My last one was pretty loud. And, uh, so no issues there either. So those those are tied up pretty good. Okay, cool. So this is pretty cool. I'm over here at uh, Leith over here in Wendell, North Carolina. And it's funny, I set an appointment, so as I pulled up, he knew my name. Hey, John? <laughs> Made you feel kind of important. So it was pretty good. Um... I got to look under the car. I think I, show, I showed that already, or I will show that before. Um, everything looked good underneath there. I asked him about like transmission fluid, when that should be changed, and he said it can get kind of expensive, uh, probably around 100,000 miles, so I'm gonna worry about it for now. They did have my oil changes in on the system. Love that color. Um, my oil changes in on the system, so I get four free oil changes. Charges are pretty popular. I'm surprised they didn't have any wide bodies. So here's a. Oh, they had this for a while. This is just a six cylinder. So they still don't have any wide body scat packs here. Crazy. Oh, and look at this. Ain't that funny? Here's my old car. It looks very much like my old the Mazda that I traded in. Let's see what year it is. They want 16.4. The window sticker. So I, you know, I, I got 15 for mine. That looks like a 15. Oh, it's a touring though. Mine was a grand touring. Yeah. The leather seats though looks pretty good. Shitty tires on it. That's a Mazda 6. You can tell real quick by the size of the tire. Oh, maybe it is a Grand Touring, 19 inch. It doesn't have the nicer rims then. I have nicer rims on mine. What year is this, see? Oh, this is a 17. Damn, I got a good deal on my car trading it in. So, I got 15 for my trade-in. And then I got like 10 grand off of the sticker. And I got four free oil changes. And I think they put some of that fabric treatment and they put the um paint sealant and stuff on it they didn't charge me for it so i asked the service manager who they go for uh decals and stuff he said he recommends a place over in nightdale so uh, i might just go over there put those stripes on rally stripes this thing's pretty cool looking actually huh Yeah, I would have, I would have liked to buy a car here. They didn't have squat. They got a red eye in the showroom though. But uh, <clears throat> they had a white one at the time. I liked the white one, but I wasn't, I wasn't gonna spend 80 grand. All right, see you in a little bit. It is time. I love that song. I can never get tired of that. Okay, so. It was free. Free is for me. And 
didn't see any problems with the car. Got my little scat pack button. <laughs> anyway, all right, heading back home. I gotta get logged in and do some work. Listen to this. Motion detection recording. Over 10 occurred. I'll explain that in a minute. Continuous recording will now start. On your GPS phone. connected. I'm surprised I'm underneath this canopy and the GPS came on. On your smartphone, connect to a Wi Fi network. The same starts the seat belt with seatbelt on it. All right, so this thing has parking mode on it. So this thing has parking mode on it. So when it's in parking mode, it's gonna detect if there was any motion. It's gonna detect um, if there were any impacts and that can be false triggered by uh, It can be false triggered by like doors slamming and things like that. If I shut the door or whatever, it can give me a false. Kicks in the GPS. Um, and then I can program it through my phone. So that's uh, what that is. That's a Q800. I'll do a separate review on that. I'm gonna show why I recommend a uh, dash cam. Especially one that's got a format button right on the front. <laughs> In case, in case you've done something stupid and you need to delete it real quickly. Um, anyway, wow, that's a pretty color on that Mustang. Wow, they got some nice ones here. They got a green one with the stripe down the middle. That looks pretty good too. And they had a they had a trackhawk here, uh, seventy two grand for a two thousand eighteen trackhawk. I don't know how many miles were on it. Anyway, all right. Ooh in valet mode. I might want to take it out of that. Let's see. <laughs> I saw the guy driving. He's like, you have that look like, why does this car have no balls? Everything looks good. Good oil pressure. All right, I'm gonna just check to see if they reset the oil life sensor. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Show myself how to do it, because I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so it says here, um, you gotta press this button here twice. Let's sit it in the run position. You don't start the car though. During just, parking mode. Well, we have to Motion listen to that. Recording. Two occurred. So to go to this till I go to uh continuous recording will now start. Vehicle info. GPS connected. On your okay. smartphone, connect to a Wi-Fi network. Oil life. So yeah, they reset it. See it's at hundred percent. If they didn't reset it, I could just press and hold the OK button, it would reset it. And then there's another way um you can do it. They say you just turn, do the same thing, press the button twice. Um, brings it to the run mode. And then you just press the gas pedal slowly three times within 10 seconds. And, uh, and that'll reset it also. I think that's a universal procedure, so anyway. All right, that's it. Later.